channel so today in this video i would like to continue my previous article entitled un permanent court of arbitration or pca rolling on south china sea d precondition to jurisdiction in its word on jurisdiction, the tribunal considered the applicability of Article 281 and 282 of the Convention, which may prevent a state from making use of a mechanism under the Conventions if they have already agreed to another means of dispute resolution. The tribunal rejected the argument set out in China's position paper that 2002 China ASEAN declaration on the conduct of parties in the South China Sea prevented the Philippines from initiating arbitration. The tribunal held that the declaration is a political agreement and not legally binding, does not provide a mechanism of Mechanism for binding settlement does not exclude other means of dispute settlement and therefore does not restrict the tribunal jurisdiction under Article 281 or 282. The tribunal also considered the Treaty of Amity and Cooperation in Southeast Asia and the Convention on Biological Diversity and a series of joint to the resolution of dispute through negotiation and conclude that one of these instruments constitute an agreement that would prevent the Philippines from bringing its claims to arbitration. The tribunal further held that the parties had exchanged view regarding the settlement of their dispute as required by Article 283 of the convention before the Philippines initiate the arbitration, the tribunal cons concluded this requirement was met in the record of diplomatic communication between the Philippines and China, in which the Philippines expressed a clear preference for multilateral negotiation involving the other states surrounding the South China Sea. While China instead that only bilateral talks could be considered exceptions and limitation to jurisdiction in its award of 12 July 2016 the tribunal considered whether the Philippine submission concerning Chinese historic right and the nine test line were affected by the exception for jur from jurisdiction for dispute concerning historic title in article 298 of this convention the tribunal reviewed the meaning of historic title in the law of the sea and held that this refers to claim of historic sovereignty over, over base and other near shore waters, reviewing China's claim and conduct in the South China Sea. The tribunal concluded that China claims historic right to resource within the nine days line but does not claim historic title over the waters of the South China Sea. Accordingly, the tribunal concluded that it has jurisdiction to consider the Philippines' claim concerning historic right and as between the Philippines and China, the Nine Days Line. In its award of 12 July 2016, the tribunal also considered whether the Philippine submission were affected by the exception from jurisdiction in Article 200. 98 for dispute concerning sea boundary delimitation. The tribunal had already found in its award on jurisdiction that the Philippine submission do not concern boundary delimitation as such, but note that several of the Philippine submissions were dependent on contents on certain areas forming part of the Philippines' exclusive economic zone. The tribunal held that it could only address such submission if there was no possibility that China could have an entitlement to an exclusive economic zone overlapping the of the Philippines and defer a final decision on its jurisdiction. In its award of 12 July 2016, the tribunal reviewed evidence about the reefs and island claimed by China 
in the social energy and concluded none is capable of generating an entitlement to an exclusive economic zone because China has no possible entitlement to an exclusive economic zone overlapping the of the Philippine in the Spartly Island, the tribunal held that the Philippine submission were not depend on a prior delimitation of a boundary. In its award of 12 July 2016, the tribunal also considered whether the Philippine submission were affected by the exception from jurisdiction in Article 298 for dispute concerning law enforcement activities in the exclusive economic zone. The tribunal recalled that the exception in Article 298 would apply only if the Philippine submission related to law enforcement activities in China's exclusive economic zone. Because, however, the Philippine submission related to events in the Philippines on exclusive economic zone or in the territorial sea, the tribunal concluded that Article 298 did not pose an obstacle to its jurisdiction. Lastly, in its award of 12 July 2016, the tribunal considered whether the Philippine submissions were affected by the exceptions from, from jurisdiction in Article 298 for dispute concerning military activities. The tribunal considered that the standoff between Philippine Marine on 2nd Thomas Seoul and Chinese naval and law enforcement vessels constitute military activities and concluded it like, like jurisdiction over the Philippine submission number 14. The tribunal also considered whether China's and reclamation and constructions of artificial island at seven features in the Spartly Island constitute military activities, but note that China has repeatedly emphasized the non-military nature of its action and have stated at the highest level that it would not militarize it prison in Spartlis. The tribunal decided that it would not deem activities to be military in nature when China itself had repeatedly affirmed the opposite. Accordingly, the tribunal concluded that Article 298 did not pose an obstacle to its jurisdiction for the tribunal decisions of the merits of the Philippines claims. A. The, de the nine test line and claims and China's claim to historic right in the maritime areas of the South China Sea. In its award of 12 July 2016, the tribunal considered the implication of China's nine test line and whether China has historic right to resources in the South China Sea beyond the limits of the maritime zones that it is entitled to pursue unto the convention. The tribunal examined the history of the convention and its provision concerning maritime zone and concluded that the convention was inter intended to compre comprehensively allocate the right of states to maritime areas. The tribunal note that the questions of pre-existing right to resources, in particular fishing resources, was carefully considered during the negotiation on the creation of the exclusive economic zone and that the number of states wish to preserve historic fishing right in the new zone. This position was rejected, however, and the final text of the conventions gives, gives other states only a limited right of access to fisheries and exclusive economic zone. And no right to petroleum or mineral resources. The tribunal found that China's claim to historic right to resources was incompatible with the detailed allocation of right and maritime zones in the convention and concluded to the extent China had historic right to resources in the waters of the South China Sea. Such rights were extinguished by the entry into force of the convention to the extent they were incompatible with the convention system of maritime zone. So that's all the article. Don't forget to watch my previous video and
बाय बाय